Hello everyone! Today I'll tell you about the Speedrunner Tools add-on and will explain the creation process for setting your own configs for speedruns. This tool adds a timer to your HUD and contains useful scripts and functions. For example, you can quickly restart the round in case of a failure by simply typing script underscore execute vs underscore st underscore restart underscore game in console. Also, Speedrunner Tools is configured to skip the intro on all first maps. This add-on is suitable for segmented as well as scripted speedruns. Players from PCI Gaming prepare each map for a speedrun by creating its own speedrunner tools. Therefore, we will explain how to create configs for a specific map, how to use constant spawns of weapons and items, and also how to set the required inventory. If you wish, you may skip the next part of the tutorial and use the add-on standard functions. First, we need the GCFscape program to decompile VPK files because all the needed scripts are in it. The location of Speedrunner tools can be seen below. Extract the root folder from the add-on to any location you want. Then, create a folder named vscripts in the game's directory and place in there all three scripts from the root folder. The file for further editing is called vs underscore st underscore speedrun dot nut. It can be opened using any text editor. Find the g underscore b is custom variable at the very top and change its value to true. Now save the changes and exit. Make sure you have Speedrunner Tools in the add-ons menu turned off to not overlap files in the local folder in the game's directory. After changing the g underscore b is custom value, the countdown will be added and by the end of it the required weapon, items, HP, and spawn positions will be given. Let's set some of these. Imagine a situation. On the previous map, three players died, and the fourth made it to the safe room with 90 HP holding an axe and a bile jar. First thing that we need to do is to find our position by typing get pose underscore exact. This is the spot where we ended the first map. Since other players didn't make it to the safe room, their spawn on the next map is random. I recommend to generate it the following way after turning AI off using sb underscore stop one. Other player's position is obtainable via the picker function, which is contained in AUU menu add-on. Copy the data from console into the text document. The function named setOrigin gives players a position to spawn. You can remove double slashes for the game to be able to read the code. Give item gives items. If there are many items, then you can duplicate it. Set health adds HP to the player, and set health buffer adds temporary HP.
It's almost done, we can now enter the game and check. Note that if you made changes to the vs underscore st underscore speedrun file, refresh it in the game by typing script underscore execute vs underscore st underscore speedrun in console, or re-enter the game. And finally, customization of the item spawn on the map is also an essential part of our config. All that we need is to find an item which we want to save, acquire the date using the picker function from AUU menu and copy them. Duplicate the templates to the desired number and paste the values into the sample. When creating a weapon, specify its number, usually it's 5. If it's a melee weapon, specify its name. Now, at the beginning of the speedrun, we will have custom spawns, but they will most likely conflict with the directors. We will try to remove them, but before that, pay attention to the ones that we've created. We have a pipe bomb, usually it spawns along with pain pills, adrenaline, and a Molotov cocktail. A bile jar sometimes spawns here, but not in our case. Let's force the removal of these items. Attentively explore such spawns on the other maps, since the director generates them differently. Also, the speed of the usual countdown of timer underscore value can be changed. In the end, we test our config. Using the give command, you can find the name of the item you are interested in. If you want, add this function to record the speedrun in slow motion.
After all the changes are done, we can create an add-on. Download the Left 4 Dead 2 authoring tools from the Steam's library. Move our finished script to the source folder root, then find the add-on compiler at the following location. Create the shortcut icon and place it wherever you want. If you wish, change the name of the add-on to not confuse it with the other ones. Now we can compile the root folder. It's important to realize that creating speedrun configs is a responsible step which requires individual game knowledge. You can ask your question in the discussions of the Speedrunner Tools add-on. All links from this tutorial are listed in the description. This is the PCI Gaming Team, good luck!